Good morning, folks. We're starting on the west coast of South America. The seven-pointer last night was downgraded to 6.7, but with another six-pointer overnight, we're now concerned that none of those was the crescendo. We may have more coming. Important to note that the southern buoy, which showed a six-inch tsunami yesterday, is the only one on in the quake zone. Northern Chile and Ecuador's devices are turned off. Staying here for a biological hazard, this area does not see large fish kills, so when they began showing up a few days ago, it was a major concern. Residents are asking for explanations, and fishermen are being paid not to fish. Shifting slightly south to see a convergence being drawn up onto the continent by powerful lows in the southwest Atlantic. South Africa still has the flood threat, but will add another today to the northwest. A convergence will create some thunderstorms and flash flood warnings this evening. The northern coasts of Europe and over east, spreading north and south, are still under the gun, but... The next low is indeed finally making its way to where the blocking high was stuck over the weekend. Bit of a lighter day down here. Still have some rain to the north, a convergence trying to draw over northeastern Australia, and definitely will be a cloudy day with some rain on the South Island of New Zealand. In the US and Canada we have two concerns. Moisture drive off the Pacific still drenching the coast and making snow further inland. Further still, across the land, a large low up north is smashing the air together all the way south to Florida. Where it crosses, we could see severe weather today. Let's look at the sunspots. Large group on the south turning away is about a B- in terms of magnetic complexity. The size up north is nothing to scoff at, but there aren't even any secondary umbral cores, let alone mixed magnetics between them. I think we should also monitor the little newborn groups, any could grow today and be a relevant surface feature. Earth's magnetic connection to the sun is near the departing spot, so check the proton flux after any flaring near that location. Not surprisingly with these spots though, we've had no solar flaring. Solar wind showing a bit of variability, but mostly just a major speed drop. That's calm conditions, no disturbance to the field. You can see the next coronal hole incoming darker than the surrounding solar atmosphere in 211 angstroms. This is deceptively part of the northern opening facing us now, and as of this time, it has only moderate magnetic power. Thanks to everyone who got their name on the observatory already, over 300 of you are going to hit the road with us in spirit and in name in the mobile observatory. We're just under 75% of our goal in three days. Won't you join us? Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open, no fear, at 6 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.